To security matters now, kidnapping for ransom remains a lucrative source of funding for terrorism. Between 2011 and 2020, more than $18 billion, million dollars, that's about 7.5 billion naira, has been paid as ransom for victims in Nigeria. This formed part of discussions at a security conference, seemed the business in terrorism held in Abuja. Sifon Essien reports. To keep the activities going, terror groups have devised means of getting funds. These include small donations from members, crowdfunding, misuse of non-profit organizations, manipulation of natural resources, drugs and human trafficking, as well as kidnapping for ransom. Uh, economic development and risk management. This security conference in Abuja takes a look at the business in terrorism financing. Sadly, due to the enormous volume of monies generated through these means, the blood of the innocent has not ceased flowing. Their blood has to flow. It must flow. It should not and cannot stop. Seems to be the resolve of the sadistic beneficiaries and perpetrators of these heinous crimes. Between June 2011 and March 2020, more than 7 billion naira has been paid as ransom in Nigeria. 18 million US dollars, that's somewhere around 7 billion naira today, have been paid for kidnap for ransom. And most of that, um, about 4 billion of that amount, was paid between January 20, 2016 and last year. So a lot of money is being paid today for kidnap for ransom. Fast forward to July 2021, experts believe the figures would have doubled. Efforts by security forces to stem security challenges in the country are yielding results, although limited. The contemporary national security challenges threatening the well-being of Nigerians, as well as the territorial integrity of our dear nation, namely armed banditry, insecurity and terrorism, farmers' husband conflict, kidnapping for ransom, secessionist agitations, cybercrime and maritime insecurity are of serious concern and the government is leaving no stone unturned to surmount these challenges. The conference is resolute that a lot more needs to be done to tackle the insecurity in the country. Sifon Asien, TVC News, Abuja.